What is going on guys? So I forgot to do an intro for this video because it is a continuation part two of the last video. So if you have not went and watched that one, go watch that one first because after that workout is when this video takes place. So go check it out. Like the video right now. Alright, so I'm going through editing this at 1 in the morning. You guys are going to see this video today. I'm grinding right now, so make sure you guys like the video. Anyways, I already know I'm going to have to deal with some of the criticism from Christians uh, judging me, telling me that I am being a fake Christian and that I am uh, not living a a uh, good life. <laughs> like, I already know I'm going to deal with that. I already had, when people are posting this on my story, I had already a bunch of them saying that. And I'm like, yo, like... This was an awesome experience for me. It was awesome for me to get out of my comfort zone to make sure that my anxiety isn't controlling me. I got to see Logan Paul. I got to meet Demi Bagme. Like it was it was almost like a networking event and it was it was socializing, you know what I mean? Like just because I'm a Christian, I'm not going to hunker down in my basement and make sure that I have no outward contact with any other person in the entire world just so that I can not sin, whatever you want to call it. I don't even know. Um so yeah, I already know people are gonna like say something like that. And again, like first off, I'm not a perfect perfect person. Second off, I'm not doing anything wrong in this video. I'm not doing anything wrong whatsoever um but yeah i decided to put that out there because i already know people are going to be like and this is the issue with being like so open up the, about my faith and um and having a platform is that people love to pick me apart you know what i mean and it's just something that kind of comes comes with it and and um, i i accept it and I'm, I, I'm able to you know deal with it i just wanted to put this out there because again obviously i don't endorse drinking in any way i don't endorse any of that stuff but um i'm again i just i'm just defending myself because i already know i'm gonna have to um, and it really it triggers me low key when I when I see that because I try so much to uh, push positive things and people love to just you know hit me with the negatives you know in every situation so yeah anyways but yeah so I didn't vlog really after that that night um and then Joey and I had to drive home the next day so this is us driving home and me getting pulled over so that's just kind of where we're at in the video so yeah. <laughs> stop yo stop <laughs> yo tell me how tell me <laughs> tell me <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how I get a ticket, Chevy Bolt, whatever this is, instead of a GT500. Explain that, please. What did I say? He said I was going 92. <laughs> Alright, so we're driving back home, and I got pulled over going 92 to 70. 
What's crazy is I have a 900 plus horsepower car back home and I don't get pulled over in that. And I get pulled over in this piece of shit. It was 160 horsepower, 1.5, four cylinder. And I get pulled over in that. First, the first time you ever been pulled over? Nah, I have been pulled over before. I just got a warning. It's for, he, got, he gave me a ticket, it's like 180. So make sure you guys run this video up so that YouTube will pay for it. Um, but I'm gonna call my dad and tell him his dude. I wanna see his reaction. Cause like, I know he, get, he gets tight. And it, what's crazy is when I got the new car, all he talks about is me getting like pulled over. Dude. What's up? What's up? Yeah, I was. I mean, well, we're on our way home. <laughs> like, I, <laughs> me and Joey, we got pulled over. We got pulled over on the way back. Why? We're going. We're speeding. <laughs> How fast? <laughs> this is twenty-two over. You get a ticket? Yeah. <laughs> you did? It's Joey's fault. He was speaking into into existence. Next thing you know, thirty minutes later, I get pulled over. What state were you in? Ohio? Are we still in Ohio? Yeah. And what? And what speed were you? What's? What's? Ninety. Ninety-two and on? a seventy. That's reckless driving, bro. We're chilling though. I just have to pay a ticket. It's like hundred. <laughs> the cash register said. <laughs> she said you ran out the door. Your car declined. <laughs> what? No. -uh. You pay she for said, it? Yeah. She said she thought you ran out the door. <laughs> she thought you stole it. I need to poop for the third time today, low key. Ridiculous. Yo, somebody's breakfast. I dropped off the rental yesterday. Anyways, um, yeah, so we're gonna go get a, a workout now. Um, so my coach lowered my calories again. We lowered the steps. And, but now we're adding five times a week uh, cardio. So five, five times a week, 25 minutes on a Stairmaster, or sometimes we'll probably do an incline treadmill if I'm just at home and want to get it done. Uh, so we're starting that today. Uh, I woke up a little bit leaner this morning or a little bit lighter. Um, now that we're getting back, you know, back home, back on the diet, bought, got my chicken and everything, gonna get back on a good meal plan. Um, so doing the cardio, I, I can tell this week, I'm really gonna start by the end of this week and um, into next week, I'm gonna already start getting pretty lean. Um, Cause I usually lose it pretty quick off my core, especially when I start incorporating cardio and already lowering the calories, calories to around 24 to 2,500. We should be getting lean pretty quick. So we're gonna go do some cardio, uh, probably do like 15 minutes of it and then do the leg workout and then do the rest after. So I won't be able to do a Stairmaster for 10 minutes or 25 minutes after a leg lift. I did 15 minutes. Uh, yo, my cardio is dog. Like, I don't know if it's from having COVID or what, or if I got COVID again, but like my my lungs are like dog water right now. Like, like it's bad. So this is gonna be, I already know like once I get used to it, it'll be better. Cause just cause it was my first cardio session in like a long ass time. But I definitely need to go take a fat burner next time. Uh, only because it gives you more energy. I need nootropics and I need stimulants before I do cardio, which I'm not taking right now. So that probably make it a little bit easier. But damn, bro, the fact that I have to go work out now after that and do 10 minutes more, this is ass. the ashes wings on my back stay thin like a matchstick we ain't coming back i swear just let go and see what happens gotta let go to see the magic happen they got is a quick change so we like them in face i just bought a new watch time to make my wrist ring the zero gravity keeps elevating me
so high, I'm up above the clouds So high, I can't see the ground So high, I ain't coming down So no, I ain't ever coming down Rise up from the ashes, wings on my back Stay lit like a matchstick, we ain't coming back, I swear Just let go and see what happens, gotta let go to see the magic happen They got us a quick change, so we like them in phase I just bought a new watch, time to make my wrist ring The zero way of gravity keeps elevating me Puffboy Jojo. Yo, did you hear that's his porn star name? We call him Puff Boy. What, Puff Boy? That's his porn star name. Mine's cool. I like it. And then... See Lord Tim? What are we doing for, huh? for Tim? What? Our porn star names. What do we do for Steve? What's Steve's? After all, we already have 100 that are done. Over 100 that are done. And these are a bunch more. So basically, the hoodies that I saw on my website, we print them here at the house. My dad prints them. Um, so that's why it's hard to get that's why they sell it so quick because it's hard to get a lot So these should be hopefully done by this weekend We'll do a big drop this weekend on the chasing aesthetics and the Elysium hoodies again. This is my clothing rant I hope to blow it up. I know it will blow it up God willing um, Yeah, and then we have like the, the athletic t-shirts and tanks gonna be restocking in new colors here soon um, Those come from all the way overseas because I have to buy a lot at one time So yeah, that's my brand Elysium um, If you want to check it out go to the link in my bio or link down below You should go to my website, but these will be restocked probably by this weekend all right, so it is nighttime. It is 11.30 p.m. Uh, I think I have one more meal for me. Next video, I plan on doing a full day eating, showing you guys what I'm eating on prep uh, for this cut to compete for the first time naturally. So uh, supplements, I wanted to show you guys what I'm taking right now differently into the cut. I'm taking uh, one from Vitamin Shop I just picked up today. Um, probiotic, this one right here. Uh, advanced microbiome support. I'm trying to fix my gut health, so that's why I'm doing that. Digestive enzymes, I take this only for really, really big meals or sometimes if I have a really fat, like double scoop protein shake just to help it digest easier. Uh, speaking of protein shakes for protein, I recommend these by Huge. Strawberry cheesecake or the vanilla milkshake. Honestly, I would only pick one of these two flavors out of the uh, options that they have because these are these are fire, these are great. Um, when it comes to, or vegan, the vegan one, marshmallow is pretty good. I recommend that out of the vegan ones. Desterone, I'm taking 1500 milligrams of this, uh, which is three pills. Vitamin D3, I take anywhere from 8,000 to 10,000 units of this a day. I had a deficiency and I'm a big believer in vitamin D3, so that's why I take a lot of it. All right, one thing I just added, which I'm actually about to take here in a second, which I just got today, are these ZMAs with theanine. So this has, this is kind of to calm me at nighttime and it's help with like sleep and recovery. Um, I've seen some people be really, really big on these and uh, I wanted something that can help calm me down and um, just it's just beneficial for recovery. So ZMAs is new for pre workout pump, uh, supplement which is the pump serum which is probably the best pump supplement on the market when you go to dosaging um and then i also take an inch of workout uh probably three to four times a week on my really big workouts when i'm at the gym for a really long time this is great this helps you kind of maintain your pump keep your fullness and keep your energy levels a little bit more uh, up there it's like almost having like steroided gummy bears in the middle of your workout uh, other than that that's pretty much it i'm not taking creatine at the moment um yeah that's it did you cook them up bro chicken because i'm on prep i tried to make oh uh cream of wheat with protein powder and shit tastes like ass so that's why i have to eat like 270 grams of protein a day so i gotta eat hella chicken now and my car my protein content's high my carbs kind of low so just like i'm already gonna have cravings so i'm just gonna eat hella chicken i'm getting the hot out And how do I do? Look at that. I mean, what do you want me to say? The pepper was L. You shouldn't have added pepper. What about the rice? I mean, it's kind of hard to mess up rice. 
Yeah, so if you guys want to support a good cause, um, my a friend of mine, his daughter is running a charity, like a, like something for her private, her, she goes like a Catholic school, it's a ca- Catholic school, right, Joey? Like a private school. Um, it's for leukemia. I actually did a Twitch stream um, and I donated, I donated $500 to it. So if you guys want to also donate to it, I'll put the link down below, help her out. So she can get like the student of the year um, award. He helps me out a lot with this social media stuff. So that's why I want to get back, help out him and his daughter. So um, yeah, but anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the bell notification on so you guys are always updated when we upload. Uh, plans coming up. We are probably going to go to Florida sometime, maybe at the end of this month, uh, middle of this month of March, maybe in a week or a week and a half. Um, I have some friends flying in, so we'll get some content around then, do some stuff. This weekend, I'm supposed to link up with a friend, with a, with a female friend, and get a uh, interesting workout in, so that would be a great video. So I'll let you guys know, stay tuned for all that, uh, setting up collabs and stuff, and we are, we are, we are on prep, we're getting, it's getting serious now, so... Not that it's getting like serious now, it's more that it's getting to the point where like I have to lock in, like I gotta stop playing around, um, because it's getting to that point where I have to now, or else I won't be able to do the show, so, yeah, like today was a grind in the gym, the workout definitely was hard, I haven't done something like that where I did like Stairmaster pretty hard, then a leg day, and then Stairmaster after, like, the cardio is definitely gonna be difficult, um, and I'm already having cravings for like dumb food, like for this, just the most random food, so, what, Joey? Puff boy. Um, so yeah, that I, I'm excited to see where it goes, but I'm not looking forward to the possible zero carb days and stuff like that. But yeah, make sure you guys stay with this series. Um, I'll be uploading again, like a road to the show series, probably at least once a week to keep you guys updated as we get closer to the competition. And then it'll probably come like a daily thing the last few weeks out of the show. Um, so yeah, I'm excited, but thank you guys again. Subscribe, like, show some love. Uh, code Alex for all your huge supplements, um, merch programs on our website. And that's it. Thank you guys for